Hey guys, welcome back. We're doing another get ready with me um, for today's Elite Eight game versus Hannah. LSU. LSU. Okay, so I've already done my primer. So we're just going right in with concealer. Hannah, what's your message today for the fans? You always put me on the spot. I know, well you walk in, you gotta be ready for it. Um, the message is too hard, too loud. Mm -hmm. That's it. I That's it. You, and I know you would already do that. Right, exactly. I have to tell you. Exactly. So yes, we play LSU today in the Elite Eight. So the winner gets to go to the Final Four. Um, and obviously this is a pretty exciting game because if you follow women's sports, you know we played each other last year in the National Championship and LSU did win. So it's, it's gonna be a good game. There's gonna be probably a lot of people watching, definitely a lot of emotions and hopefully things go well and we just continue to dance. So yeah, I don't know, I'm a little, I wouldn't say nervous, but I'm like anxious, excited, you know? Like I just, it's at 7 p.m. So we've been sitting around all day and I'm just like, I wanna go, I wanna get started. But obviously it has to be on TV for prime time, so we have to wait. So yeah, besides the obvious stuff that we have the game today, today we've just had the usual breakfast, and then we had a couple hours of like downtime before we went to shoot around. And then let's see, we had smoothies afterward or before shoot around, which were fire. And then, yeah, we came back, um, had lunch slash pregame meal. And then we've just been like sitting here. I just did an exam for one of my education classes. I was really hoping for an extension on it, but I just didn't ask. I just had to buckle down and do it. But I know a lot of people always wonder about like what school is like whenever we're on the road. And honestly, it kind of just like depends on your major and your professors. Mine are most of the time pretty lenient, but um, for the class my exam was in, it's a pretty easy class. So I knew I could just sit down and take it in like 30 minutes. But for some of the other girls, I know like extensions sometimes are the best option. And like for my stats class, I'll definitely be asking for some extensions on homework because it takes forever and we just don't have time for that. Also, somebody asked me in the last video um, about roommates and like how that gets decided and like who we room with. And for the most part, it's like completely out of our control, but it's kind of nice because we all get along. So it doesn't really matter who you room with, but um, our roommates for this trip are the same as they were for the Big Ten tournament. So like I'm with Hannah and I was with her for the last trip. Um, and I feel like, especially for the long trips, our Dobo, who Hannah Bluter, who picks out our roommates, just tries to put you with like, I don't know, someone you're really close with on the team. So like me and Hannah are obviously pretty close. We've known each other for a long time. Um, I'm trying to think, Caitlin and Kate are together, Gabby and Sydney. So like, you know, stuff like that. You know, she pairs you pretty well, but honestly, there's not like a person she could put you with that you'd be upset with, in my opinion. Um, but yeah, it's out of our control. Our Dobo handles all of it. And yeah, it's like you're just, I mean, most of the time you're only there for like 24 hours, so it doesn't really matter. But on these long trips, it's nice like to be with Hannah because I have known her for a long time. So, you know, I can like just be myself around her, if that makes sense. So yeah, that's basically all about the roommates. I've tried to ask or answer as many questions as you guys ask. I honestly can't think of any other ones that you guys wanna know, but I know I said that I would do like a, a travel day and hopefully, I haven't done one yet, I'm sorry, but hopefully after we win this game, I will finally do one where I can show you guys, I don't know, anything you guys want, just let me know. I'm always looking for new things to do because I feel like I just make the same videos over and over again, but you seem to like them, so that's fine with me. Oh my gosh, there's something in my eye. Uh, uh oh. So I haven't been watching as much of the men's tournament as I have the women's, obviously, but I've been keeping up with NC State because apparently they're going like absolutely insane. I watched a little bit of their game the other day and they're like an 11 seed and I think they just beat Duke. Um, and so it's safe to say I'm a huge fan of Whoever, I can't remember his name, but number 30, 
he's hilarious and i just watched a tiktok about how he has a vending machine business that he runs on the side so if you guys have any side hustles for me i think vending machines would be a great idea but you know any other options for me that'd be great but i think it's really funny and i think he's adorable um i, I don't know his name i don't watch that closely i'm more in tune obviously with the girl's side but it's always pretty interesting i feel like on the men's side there's always one team that like surprises everyone and obviously an 11 seed isn't necessarily a cinderella story but the fact that they beat duke i was like okay so i'm kind of an nc state men's basketball fan now i've also had a lot of questions about my nails which here's what they look like i haven't shown them but they are quite long i normally don't get them this long but the nail lady was not listening to me when i told her to do them shorter but that's fine um, a lot of people have asked me how I'm able to like play with nails this long and I've honestly always done it since I was in high school um, I've suffered a lot of broken nails a lot of really painful broken nails so I definitely would not recommend but it is definitely doable it's hard and it takes some it takes years of training I feel like I've got it down now but when I first started doing it oh my gosh my mom would rip me a new one every single time a nail broke but now I just have pretty nails all the time. Okay, so now I'm gonna do my mascara and it looked really, really good for the other game. So I'm hoping that we keep up that good luck. And a lot of people also ask me what mascara this is. It's the Anastasia Beverly Hills. I think it's called, oh yeah, Lash Sculpt. It's really good. Um, I like this one a lot. And then I like the Bad Gal Bang from a brand that I cannot think of at the moment but I get them both at Sephora and they're both really good, so yeah. Okay, so the mascara is done. It looks fine, it's not my best, but it will suffice. And now we're gonna do the setting spray. Oh Lord, there we go. Okay, that was a bit excessive and then I used this one the other day and Kate complimented me after the game and said I looked so beautiful and I'm convinced that it's because of this, so I'll be using it again. Mm. I feel like if you have any type of breathing problem, you should not use this. It reminds me a lot of hairspray, but anyways, okay, that is it. My hair is kind of done. I'll probably redo it because it doesn't look the best, but... Thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time when we make it to the final four.